Today, I'd like to talk about the performative gender roles of caterpillar cake. Caterpillar cake was socially constructed by a human engineering team known as Marks and Spencers. So already, this can be seen through the lens of a social class issue, because this cake is limited to those who have access to economic resources. In other words, to those who can afford to shop in Marks and Spencers without dying of starvation. Now let's take a look at Colin the Caterpillar. Marks and Spencers thought it would be a good idea to humanize caterpillar cake by assigning it a gender. As a result, Colin the Caterpillar was a must-have at the birthday parties of all straight white male children in Ireland for decades. But in 2017, Marks and Spencers suddenly realized that girls have birthdays too. So to appeal to the market, they decided to gift Colin the Caterpillar with a partner. And from that day on, Connie the Caterpillar was born. Marks and Spencers argued that if there was going to be a female version of caterpillar cake, it'd have to be a housewife, because obviously that's all they believe women are allowed to be. Marks and Spencers even launched a special marriage edition of Colin and Connie the Caterpillar. Colin's wearing a top hat and Connie's wearing makeup. In chapter 4 of Warwick and Boots Social Inequality textbook, they'd argue that Marks and Spencers are attributing gender stereotypes to these cakes. They go on to argue that gender is performative and emulated, so kids will eat these cakes and attempt to reproduce these gender roles as they go about their life. Marks and Spencer stand in direct opposition to feminism. A definition of feminism was offered by Bell Hooks, who states that feminism is a movement to end sexism, sexist exploitation and oppression. Which is ironic, because the name Bell Hooks sounds like someone who would be a deadly MMA fighter. Another interesting facet of caterpillar cake can be found in the shape of the cake itself. Encoded within the caterpillar's phallic structure lies a secret hidden message from Marks and Spencers. They wanted to paint women as caterpillars, because caterpillars don't have hands, which means they can't point out inequality when they see it. Bell Hooks would argue that Marks and Spencers are using Connie the caterpillar to socialize young girls into conforming to sexist, patriarchal views of what a woman should be. If you want caterpillar cake and you're a girl, that's fine, but it does have to be a pink one. They're basically edible Barbie dolls. Five years on in 2022, Marks and Spencers agreed that it was time to step into a new era. They called it the era where they pretend to care about same-sex marriage. On Valentine's Day, they released the same-sex caterpillar cake that came as a two-part package deal. Colin and Colin the Caterpillar, or Connie and Connie the Caterpillar. While well, this did seem like a step in the right direction, they really gave the game away because they made the cakes half the size of the original ones. This was a Freudian slip that revealed they only support gay rights about half the time. Why is there no three-way caterpillar cakes? Marks and Spencers, what's your say on open relationships? Frankie, stop! Soon after Connie and Colin the Caterpillar got married, Marks and Spencers decided it was high time for the Wrigley homewreckers to have a couple of caterpillar kids. So Marks and Spencers turned them into a family, further entrenching gender roles and expectations onto the human children who bully their parents into buying the caterpillar cakes for their birthday. Even though all the caterpillar cake in Marks and Spencers won't ever save them from the fact that their parents' loveless marriage is about six months away from a messy divorce. Ha, <laughs> stupid kids. Namaste.